Jensen? It's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. That's not as good as they say. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Let's hope his confidence is well placed then. Oh, I'm sure it is. Mr. Darrow doesn't trust just anyone. We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. It is not an easy task. Are you sure you are up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lo Fei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong District. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Let's do this.
You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? Here you go. Ah, perfect. You don't know what this means, Mr. Jensen. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. I just wish I knew what this was all about. You never know, Mr. Jensen. One day, you just might. You buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. Bye-bye. I see you soon. Accident like Chan did, it wouldn't be so. Get out here! I can 
confirmed that the cause of these disruptions has been linked to a major malfunction in the multi-channel peripheral right. and biogen. Yeah, name's Jensen. I will tell surgery. You buy something else? I'm ready. Mr. Jensen, right? I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see that. What I really meant to ask is how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, please, you misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss, as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. Yeah, yeah, just hammer it out, Doc. It concerns Bell Tower Associates. You know the work they do here. But what you and the rest of the general public do not know is that they sometimes contract limb doctors to operate in private for them on special projects. What kind of special projects? What you Americans call black operations. Bell Tower selects some of their best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental top secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc. But none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your government and mine have both been guilty of this practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation. A private army, on sale to the highest bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. No, no. It is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware, and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations, for the Chinese and... others. I get it, he's a badass. Quite, Mr. Jensen, quite. Rumor has it that Mr. Zelazny and his unit have gone rogue about a month ago. Two weeks later, a city official was assassinated. I am certain they are involved. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. 
I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. I'll do what I can. I am sure you are up to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn sour, and he must be terminated, I think you are quite a good candidate to get it done. Or at least survive.
难道没有好人？
难道没有好人愿意跟我说话吗？That's far enough, Guaylo. Disappoint me, Jensen. I thought 
We were friends. Then my hacker goes missing. You break into my place of business, and you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter our room. A lot of Bell Tower heavies looking for you, and you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah, Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it, let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Young? Tai Young's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice arg, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. Problem is, bastard's got my son. And he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where's he being held? One of my harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden pods. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. <laughs>